ING is the latest bank to announce job cuts. The Dutch financial group getting rid of more than 2,000 staff as it separates its bank and insurance operations. The announcement comes as ING's third quarter profits missed forecasts. Chief Financial Officer Patrick Flynn joins me now on the line from Amsterdam. Patrick, I'll come to your results in a second, but I just want to start with your reaction to Obama's victory in the States. What does that do, if anything, for the global financial landscape? I think there were two very strong candidates. Um, difficult to choose between the two of them from from this side of the pond. Uh, you know, I think it, it's positive that the administration is still in place. There's a lot of challenges ahead for the global economy and for the U.S. And uh, with the, we need people back to work quickly to continue trying to resolve them. Okay, um, on to your results now. Now, why did profits miss forecasts by such a large margin? I mean, we're talking more than 250 million euros off. Um, well, you know, we posted a third quarter profit of uh, 719 million, uh, which is a, a very good set of results in the context of a difficult economic environment, low and no interest rates. You know, the bank uh, reported a profit of a billion that's actually up uh, 3% compared to the preceding quarter. Yeah, insurance results are, are down a bit, primarily in Europe, but, uh, you know, the US results are, are good. You know, our uh, US operating results are up 16%. Uh, on the prior quarter. And I'm quite pleased with the performance and, and progress being made in the U.S. insurance business. So were analysts forecast too optimistic then? You know, underlying, I think it's solid. Uh, we've also taken some uh, write-offs uh, for goodwill, which may be, the, uh, may be what the analysts hadn't, hadn't seen. But, you know, they're one-off, non-recurring. The underlying is good. OK, um, does this mean, though, that you, will, that you might consider changing your guidance for the full year? Well, we don't give guidance. So, you know, like I said, uh, solid up uh, underlying performance. Uh, we're going to continue uh, working to deliver on that. OK, on to those job cuts. Um, you're cutting 2,350 more jobs. Is that it or is there still room for more cost cutting? Yes, you know, the, the job cuts are uh, unfortunate and it's always difficult to do this. Uh, you know, people have worked very hard uh, to help uh, drive the business forward. But unfortunately, given the economic environment, uh, we've had to take these difficult decisions, uh, both in the bank and also in insurance. Uh, we do that with a heavy heart. Um, uh, you know, this does, does weigh. However, you know, we have to take the decisions that are right for the company going forward, and we, we, will, we will continue to look at what's in the best interest in ING and take appropriate decisions in light of economic circumstances as they prevail. You mentioned uh, tough conditions. I mean, obviously, 2012 was a very tough year, but it looks like 2013 may be even tougher. Is that how you see it? Uh, there are some signs of improvement. You know, like I said, you talked about the, uh, the U.S. presidential election. There is progress in the U.S. The U.S. housing market is improving. And I think we need to get uh, everyone back to work focused on driving growth in the economy. And, uh, you know, with that, I think performance will improve. Okay, just to finish up on your IPOs of the, your US and European insurance operations, um, are we still looking at the deadline of 2013? Yes, we still have that, uh, that deadline. That said, we are in discussions uh, with the EC. Uh, we've made good progress there along with the Dutch state. We're, well, hopefully we will have a, re a revised agreement with the EC. But for now, it's still 2013, uh, and we're working hard to uh, deliver on that. Uh, and, you know, we have done. Our progress to date has been very good, if I say so myself. Uh, disposals of uh, ING Direct US, we've sold LATAM, we've sold three businesses in Asia so far. So, you know, we've done, we're doing all we can and we will continue to do so. OK, Patrick, thank you very much. That was Patrick Flynn of ING. That's it for now, but there's plenty more C-suite interviews here on Reuters today. BNP Paribas CEO Jean-Laurent Bonafé is available on demand. And coming up, we'll be speaking to Rangold Resources CEO Mark Bristol. I'm Jamie McGeever. This is Reuters.